Good morning, my dearest friends, and welcome to this Sunday's Reflection. The theme for our reflection today is the Lamb of God. On this second Sunday of Ordinary Time, the Gospel of St. John chapter 1 from verse 29 through to 34 gives us this, this theme from the words of John the Baptist himself when he pointed at Jesus saying, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. My brothers and sisters, the words Lamb of God echo the experience of the people of Israel in Egypt and their exodus, their deliverance. In Exodus chapter 12, from verse 21 and following, the Lord through Moses commanded the people of Israel to sacrifice, to kill a Passover lamb. And with the blood sprinkled the lintel of their houses. And when the angel of destruction appeared, they were all protected and saved. And after that, Israel gained its freedom. Israel left Egypt for the promised land. And so my brothers and sisters, when we talk about lamb, it denotes sacrifice. And so the lamb of God, as St. John the Baptist tells us in the gospel of today, he himself gave testimony, witness, and said, this Lamb of God is Jesus. He is God himself. In verse 34, John the Baptist underlined the divinity of Christ. This Lamb of God is the one that receives the worship that only belongs to the divine, as we see in Revelation chapter 4, verse 11. And so, my brothers and sisters, what is the implication of John referring to Jesus as the Lamb of God? That is, he is the one to be sacrificed, to undergo the experience of death for your sake and for my sake. First, to give us protection and most importantly as stated by John the Baptist himself to save us from our sins in the first reading of today from the prophecy of Isaiah chapter 49 the Lord himself said that through him he will bring back Israel Jacob and then the whole humanity back to himself so the Lamb of God is Christ who will sacrifice himself for you and I, for our protection, for our salvation. So my brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this holy day, let us spend time to reflect this love of God for us in Jesus Christ who gave up himself for you and I to give us protection, to give us salvation. And John the Baptist, pointing to Jesus, is also telling us to follow him, to walk in his path, that in him there is salvation, in him is the fullness of life. And so my brothers and sisters, we pray in this sacrifice of the Mass today, where the Eucharist will be, will be raised and we'll hear these same words, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Let us draw close to him so that we can experience the power of Jesus in our lives and in the world. God bless you and happy Sunday to all of you.